I'm terrified and I'm going to blame all of you who've wanted me to watch this for the heartache and heartbreak that I'm going to endure watching this. Everyone and their dog has warned me that this show is intense. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ames and today we are starting the series The Pacific. I've actually never heard about The Pacific. I had only ever heard about Band of Brothers and that was on my list for a really long time to watch. Absolutely love that series. A lot of you have requested The Pacific and so we were doing it. I expect nothing but the same level of caliber that Band of Brothers was. Everyone has told me that this is more brutal. I may cry a lot. I think that these stories are very important to watch. I don't know a lot about the history of war. Thank you so much for being here. If you've subscribed and been following me through Band of Brothers, thank you so much. I know you've been waiting for this. If you've been following me and you're not really into war stuff, don't worry. We're gonna be doing other stuff on the channel as well. And if you wanna watch some other stuff, you can join us on a Patreon because we do polls every week. We do a Wheel of Movie Wonders spin where anyone's pick can get chosen and I also put in my own picks as well each month so we'd love to see you over there you can hit the link above we have such an awesome community before we dive into this don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the like and roll tape the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor Hawaii by air President Roosevelt has just announced I just can't believe that happened a date which will live in infamy yeah the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked. December 7th, 1941. It was America's greatest military disaster. Tom Hanks is narrating. It would be followed by six months of consecutive defeats. Within half a year of Pearl Harbor, the Japanese controlled one of the largest territorial empires in human history. By the summer of 1942, they were at Australia's doorstep, extending all the way down to a small remote island in the South Pacific, Guadalcanal. Oh. Here, the Japanese were rapidly building an airfield. If they completed that airfield, they could effectively choke off U.S. supply lines to Australia, denying the United States a base from which to wage the rest of the war in the Pacific. Oh, I see. <gasps> In August of 1942, almost nine months after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the 1st Marine Division shipped out from New Zealand, wow. headed for the first American offensive of World War II. They had to prepare, train everyone, I guess. We were never told that we were going into combat island that the Japanese held called Guadalcanal. Uh, they even called it Guadalcanar. They didn't even know how to uh, spell the name. Oh. This footage is absolutely haunting. It scares me today, and that's been 67 years ago. Already getting choked up. The veterans, are just, they're so amazing. We had no concept that it was an important event. We had no idea that we were in the forefront of all this. The main thing was to stay alive. That was an absolutely incredible introduction to this miniseries. They always get you with the horns. It sounds very patriotic. The Pacific. John Berthnell is in this. <sighs> Hans Zimmer. Whew. He knows how to get those strings feeling in your heart. Oh, this chalk drawing intro design is unbelievable. It's almost like a watercolor painting that they've done. Just have that slight bit of red in every drawing. The sunset, sunrise, and bloodshed. Japanese flag might represent a whole bunch of things and symbolize a whole bunch of things. Oh, look at him carrying that guy. The Pacific, part one, December 1941, United States of America. They're gonna show Pearl Harbor, aren't they? Just making a prayer for somebody and lighting a candle. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> Here, Bob Leckie. I'm your neighbor from across the I street. I know who you are, Bob. I joined the Marines. Thought I'd do my bit. Well, if I don't see you before you go, take care of yourself. Maybe I'll write you. Was he lighting a candle for himself and praying for himself? Did I miss anything? Nah. The movie hasn't started yet. You don't tell me I missed this thing. Come on, did I fuck this up or what? Oh, yeah. Catch it on deck! 
Fuck you. They tricked him. We have where the Germans and the Japanese have conquered. The globe and anchor emblem that you have earned will make the difference between freedom of the world and its enslavement. December 7th was quite a day, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Japanese are in the process of taking half of the world, and they mean to keep it. Here is what the Japs are not expecting, the United States Marine Corps. I don't think they are. Now, never mind Europe. Hitler is not going to be our job. Not until they can't whip him without us. <laughs> Marines will do battle with the Japs on tiny specks of turf that we have never heard of. You are the sinew and the muscle of the Corps. The orders come from the brass and you get it done. And whenever this war is over, when we have swept upon the main islands of Japan, the victory will have been won by you. The chevrons on your sleeves and the instincts in your guts and the blood on your boots. Hold your loved ones dearly. Join them in prayers for peace on earth, goodwill toward all men. Where we will meet our enemy and kill them all. Happy 1942. I was just thinking about them battling on all the beaches in the Pacific and the terrain being so different. Obviously, they stormed the beaches of Normandy, but they went inland. I got him up. Go get the door, buddy. Where you both been? We had to walk from the station. We took the wrong street. This is JP and Manny. This is like what my family dinner was look like. <laughs> I wish my sons could marry someone this beautiful. Uh. JP Morgan, Manny Rodriguez, welcome to our home. We're happy you could join us tonight. Two of my brothers are leaving to serve their country. You're in the Philippines and came back to join the Marines because you wanted to be the best and first in. When all this is over, we'll sit down at this table again for a welcome home feast. To all of you, just get the job done. Come home. And come home to us. He's being very positive. Salute. Maybe it's a good omen. Don't hold it for the guests. The cannoli. Oh, doesn't want to lose his kids. Be awful seeing your children go away to war and not know if they're gonna come back. Every day you would be anxiety ridden. Thanks for the ride. Oh yeah, sure. You hardly packed a thing. Wish I could have brought my typewriter. There's a war on. Everybody's gotta make sacrifices. Your mother said I was a fool not to buy a Ford. Well, that's it, Dad. I gotta go. I'm not gonna say I love you and goodbye. Maybe he's avoiding it because it's too hard. Advice, huh? Not gonna give him a hug, just a handshake. Guess that's just the type of relationship they have. I'm not gonna be able to go. Son, Eugene, I'm, I'm sorry. What's wrong with him? Mama's still there. He's got a heart murmur. Does he really want to go? Or is he upset that he has, he obviously must be enlisted or wanting to go do his part. When we look at the resources of the United States and the British Empire, compared to those of Japan. Is he gonna go anyways? Is his dad a doctor? Deacon, you stay! You're 18, Eugene. You don't need your father's permission. He's gonna go. Barrack room ballots by Roger Kipling. Just if you need something to read on the train or we ship out. I wish we were going together. Yeah, well, you take care of yourself, Greaser. You don't have to worry about me. It'd be so hard to see all your friends go, and then you wouldn't be able to go and do your part. Gene. I thought he was just gonna piece it and go. The Solomon Islands. The Guadalcanal. Today's the day, Marines! <laughs> it worked hard for these oranges. Yeah, well, at least they give you a good meal before the send off. Yeah, like the electric chair. You guys are lucky I'm here because I'm planning to take out an entire Jap regiment all by myself. I plan on doing that, Sergeant York. <laughs> Line them up, boom down. I got a feeling it's gonna be a little more complicated than that. Oh, it's gonna be a turkey shoot. Hey. Professor Lake, in life. Without a sign, his sword, the brave man draws, and has no omen but his country's cause. Give me back my smoke. Well, like, you gotta stop.
Go, boys! Everybody on deck! Let's move! Right, right. That was a beautiful quote. That's right! Let's go! Landing briefing. Forget all the horse shit you've heard about the Jack! The treacherous bastards may have started this war, but I promise you, we will finish oh, it! He's getting them amped up. What do you use that shit island and its airfield to kill us? Hit the beach! Keep moving to your rendezvous points of primary objective! You see the Japs! Kill them all! You gotta get these guys amped up. They're going into the battlefield. Wow. You get to really see the scale of how big these ships are and the ocean. Oh, oh, these things. I bet it'd be so cold and the sound must be insane. Oh, I think I'm just triggered from seeing what happens in Saving Private Ryan. So I'm just so worried about all of these guys. Get ready to go. Go, guys. Why is everybody stopping? What do they see? Do they already have it? Oh God, thank God. That'd be so effed up. You're like ready to go into battle. Not sure what's gonna happen. Then you're like, oh, everything's just chill. <laughs> Don't know how to open a coconut. <laughs> the islanders use a machete or a rock. Exactly. Try using your head, Chuckler. It's big and rock-like. Johnny Reb. He still had his orange. Oh, shit, oh no. Cut off a finger trying to open a coconut. Intelligence has it the Japs moved back into the jungle. We move in three minutes. Let's go find some Japs. <laughs> the jungle would be so terrifying and such a completely different beast. Like so many different animals. Spiders? Snakes? Oh no. Please tell me they didn't plant like bombs in there. Okay, no, they're just coming up on a deserted camp. <gasps> Are we getting a look? Oh, okay. It's like a foxhole, but more like a hideout. Because in Hacksaw Ridge, they built all those tunnels, right? The Japanese. So I wonder if that's something that they did everywhere that they fought. No, oh, they're like way too out in the open. They're probably in the trees, hiding in the jungle. This is terrifying. Oh man, the physical fitness to be in the Marines, army, military, airborne, anything like, gotta be so freaking fit and strong. Oh, the shots and the sound design. Oh, this is building the suspense so much. Oh, the terrain would be so challenging. I've done a cross island trek on the Cook Islands and slippery over there. I wonder what the humidity would be like because when they were in Europe, you know, it was Baston, it was winter, it was cold. So it'd be a whole nother level of environmental elements. Oh no. The canteens are so loud. Oh God, did they capture some of the Japanese? Those their men, they're all tortured and tied up. That would be really hard to walk by and witness. That would really stay with you. It's tropical, so there's probably so much rain. I didn't even think about that. 
They attack at nighttime. They saw something. Is that their game plan? Shit. Japanese are sneaky mofos. I went to take a piss. Somebody opened up. Oh. Did he say the password? I don't know. What's the password here? Not thunder lightning. It's gonna be something different. I hate when stuff like that happens. It's so tragic. It's fifth Marines on the airfield. Guess we took the airfield. Well, let's go home. LPs at 300 yards, no fires, two hour watches. Let's assume the Japs are watching right now, preparing to come at us. Assume they are. Oh, God. Can you imagine being on one of those ships? No, I cannot imagine. That's Admiral that Turner blowing the whole Jap fleet to the bottom of the channel. I don't know about that. I love your optimism. Oh. <laughs> Killing him. No. Son of a bitch. Where's the Navy? Not taken out. We lost four cruisers. Turner took everyone left and headed for open sea. We're it for now. Oh my god, they're all alone. Yeah, well, she went down with half the battalion's ammo, most of our grub and medical supplies. We're really gonna have to learn how to open a coconut now. Want some? It's Jeff Wine left behind. It's made out of donkey piss, but it's not bad. Can't fight him drunk, don't fight him at all. Smoking lamps, Smoking out. lamps out. Lamps out. The beautiful sunsets and sunrises would be the only silver lining, I guess. Oh no. Stay low, stay low. Just try to spot our positions. Hold your fire. No, don't take your helmet off. Jesus Christ. There are thousands of them. Like the whole damn Japanese Empire. Don't get too comfortable in your holes. <sighs> That'd be so terrifying, because it would just mean more of the Japanese coming toward ya. This is Alligator Creek. Right here, watch the opposite bank. Whoa, are they setting up some traps and tripwires? Destroy any letters you have with any date or addresses. That's actually really smart. I feel like they've done a really good job already with all the makeup, with all the dirt on all their faces and everything. How can you hear with the wind and the river? Does he not think anyone's there? Shit, they are there. The frickin' twig broke. So I was like, how many times is this gonna happen when no one's there? The night time. It's a really smart tactic. Whoa. They're flanking us. Stand oh shit. <gasps> oh, we gotta move. We gotta move. Come on. Oh. Is he not sure if he got shot? He's okay. He's just in shock. He's lost it. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get He's gonna leave him there. Let's go. Let's get in there. Don't let them flank you. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta keep moving. Ah. I thought the rain was bad, but I didn't even think about nighttime. <gasps> this is absolute insanity. Oh. Ammo resupplies. 
Look at them all. I mean, we, 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 we chewed them up. They just kept on coming. A real turkey shoot. They held the line. Lucky. Barman, we got a live one here. Oh my god. Take a pin in him, Doc. <laughs> And is suffering. Gather any papers for S2. They got Rivers, Morley, Abbott, Martin, McDougal. Stanley's blinded. Captain Jameson's been relieved. We better get started on the letters to the families. Good job moving around last night. Got you promoted to corporal. Oh. <laughs> These must be the bastards who took long. I like the Japanese just have a completely different mentality with war and just having that samurai, that background that they have. Oh, he realizes that they're people just like them. Is he gonna keep that? It was all weighing very heavy on him. Dear Vera, it seems a lifetime since we met outside St. Mary. He is writing her. The jungle holds both beauty and terror in its depths. Most terrible yeah. of which is man. <laughs> there are things men can do to one another that are sobering to the soul. It's one thing to reconcile these things with God, another to square it with yourself. <sighs> Those are really powerful words. <gasps> How long have you been sitting on this one? A week. You don't want that to get infected out there? Next time, don't let it wait so long. Boy, it's Chesty Fuller. The seventh, all dressed up for Sunday school. Hey, Ben, up with the son of Samoa, screwing your girlfriend. Oh! You guys step aside. The real Marines are here now, and I've been here for some time. <laughs> I love the banter always. They look like they've been through the ringer. That's one way of putting it. I was waiting to see when we we're gonna see these guys again. Hey, Johnny Rapp, it's your turn. This one here is from a buddy of mine back in Mobile. Is it you, Gene? You'll never have that nagging thought that you let your family, your friends, and your country down. Because that's what I'm afraid of. Aww. Your humble and obedient servant, Eugene Slidge. He's so proud of his best friend for going. How old are you? 18. Jesus. Because I'm a grenade for his birthday. That's something to remember. Birthday to you. So young. Wow. Great first episode. They really just got into that one. They held nothing back. I loved that introduction to just set the tone of the episode with Tom Hanks narrating, especially the events of Pearl Harbor at the beginning. They didn't waste any time. Definitely introduced a bunch of characters and I I feel like next episode we're going to learn about the other the other crew, but they they didn't waste any time. Straight into it, straight into what it would have been like, straight into battles. It's just so sad and heartbreaking to see these images of war. The graphicness of this was kind of almost in the background for a lot of the episode, but I am really scared for when it is in the forefront. All right, guess we're going to get into the next episode. It was long periods on Guadalcanal when we really and truly figured none of us would survive. The Japanese Navy came in and sank all of our escorts. Yeah, your guys were all alone. The American Navy suffered one of their worst defeats in history. And they just watched it from the island. And most of our ammunition went down with it. And they thought it was opposite. 
Marines had been left to fight the battle for Guadalcanal alone. <sighs> Tough mofos, man. Many were on the verge of starvation. Oh my god. And that the Japanese had control of the sea, and that they could supply their troops, and we, we couldn't. How terrifying. The Marines were strafed and bombed continuously. Oh, relentless. From the Japanese, 24 hours a day, bombed every day in big formation. The Marines battled yet another enemy, the jungle. Yeah, the terrain would be so challenging and the environment. The malaria is vicious. Oh, malaria. Come down with chills, have temperatures of 105. I didn't even know that or think of that. They had that there. Near starvation, as I recall it. Oh my God, this is awful. The Marines faced a Japanese offensive to retake their lost airfield. <sighs> oh no. I developed this sort of a formula in life in which there are times uh, that you just pray and hold on. That's all you can do. That's what we did on Guadalcanal. Uh, repeatedly, you would just pray and hold on. Strong, resilient man. The Japanese are gruesome. They just kept hammering them. The tactics are very interesting. I'd really like to learn about that side. I couldn't even imagine just from my little experience of being places like Thailand and the Cook Islands with the humidity, the rain, the thunder. It, it's just a different beast. And then adding on top of that malaria and how sick you'd get. And if you had no supplies and then starving, how did they fight? These men had to endure so much. I really love what they did with the art and the stills. In the opening credits in this series. God, we're like episode two and these men are already so freaking depleted. The human spirit and the resilience that we have, but especially these soldiers, is just, it is insane what people can do. The Pacific, part two. Guadalcanal, October 1942. He was so right. It was so beautiful. It was so terrifying. I see these guys now, but I wonder if they're all gonna meet up. You see Briggs? His men? No, sir. That guy got hit so bad. Oh. That because of the L's are pronounced R's. They have a hard time pronouncing really our L's. Are you hit? No. <sighs> Chester wants your squad to hang back with Abel Company. See if the nips follow us. Then we'll rejoin the battalion further north. Dose of reality. What they're dealing with. Manny, we have to try to have to go out and dig in next to me and Mo. Uh, yeah. What are those? Army rations from 1919. Quartermaster over in Dog Company claims they're edible. Is this all you could find? You fucking forge next time. Hey, who are you writing to, Lucky? Is it abroad? Read it. Dear Vera, it's raining. I'm entertaining Runner by reading him this letter. <laughs> We've been swallowed by the jungle and 5,000 Japs waiting to kill us. Hey, thanks for brightening the mood. Oh, I do what I can. I'm scared for when people get captured. Rice without beef. Rice without chicken. Rice, rice, rice. <laughs> Turn that shit off. You know, the only radio reports I want to hear is that a bunch of Jap ships have been sunk somewhere off some crappy island called Guadalcanal. Is that what's bugging you? John, I shit like 20 times a day. My ass is killing me. Uh, what? <laughs> Oh, the rice has maggots in it. Oh, fuck it. Next. Oh, oh, God. Care to know what the Nips think of us? Yes, sir. A special force recruited from jails <laughs> and insane asylums for bloodlust. <laughs> the army just landed. Oh, yeah. 
I know, I know. I want every man in my battalion shaved by 1600. We're just raggedy ass Marines. We look this way for a reason. Yeah, I've been fighting a hard ass battle. Uh, you're not gonna slow down? What in the hell? Why would you do that to them? Frickin' assholes. I'm still mad about that. The army don't know the jazz bomb the airfield, not the beach. Get greedy. Oh. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Now they're gonna raid them. <laughs> Get all that loot. What's in this one? Oh, it's personal items. Don't take his personal items. Got some cigars. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Army gets the new stuff and we fight with shit my grandfather used. They need food bad. Let's go! Come on. go. I mean, like, why aren't they all working together? <laughs> Army captain from the 164th is raising hell about somebody breaking into his trunk and stealing a box of cigars. Not just any shoes, said they're his favorite pair of moccasins. <laughs> Bad luck for that, Captain. Well, you might want to watch where you wear those. Or smoke any cigars you might not have. <laughs> Drink any hooch you might not have. <laughs> Is he taking a poop on the log? Oh, they're probably all constipated. These are for you, Miss Grants. Oh my God. Peaches. I got the goddamn runs. You had to get peaches. <laughs> oh, he's got the runs. Oh, the peach juice would be so good. Mmm, I love canned peaches so much. My grandma used to make them all the time from the tree that they planted when they first came to Canada. She'd can them every year. Oh no, but they're probably malnourished, so they, oh no, they're all gonna be sick. No. You got a right beer about this. <laughs> God, at least I can laugh while being in misery. Wonder how those cigars are gonna make him feel. Fuck you, peaches. Another onslaught coming in. Are they bombing the beaches? Oh no. Does he have a puppy? Oh no, it came crashing in on them. You would be holding on and, and praying for your life because that would just be luck that you didn't get bombed. Or the bomb didn't land on you. Oh god, it just got all destroyed. Start taking out. They'd be absolutely traumatized. They got so lucky. He did have a doggy. That's the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life. Earmuffs, Jedi. Oh. Hit. Man, that could have been us. Mm. Oh. Chesty wants to help me NCOs at ECP. Was this shot on location and soundstage or all on location? Our old position south of the airfield. It's rough terrain. Top side thinks the Japs are going to attack up by the Metanicow. They might pull Hannigan. Put him up north to reinforce the 5th and the 1st Marine. And that is going to leave us alone. Singled up on the line. If the Japs do break through and they retake the airfield, our orders are to take to the jungles and fight as guerrillas. This is not going to happen. Aye, Aye sir. Okay. <laughs> Can you spare this hombre? I need another runner. The hell, Colonel? We're sick of him. Get your shit and even back at the CP. Leaving his crew? We're on our own. Let's go, Marines. Move, move, move. You'll be singled up. Just like Chesty said. It's crazy how you like get cast in one thing and then you're kind of like known for something because I just watched him in Fury. He was also in Sicario, but he's just a talented actor. And he has a great look about him for movies and shows like this. Hey, you want some limit stakes in there, Sergeant? Yeah, go get it. Hope everyone remembers where all this wire was placed. It's a cool transition. Who's your runner? I want you to set up an LP 30 yards inside the tree line. 
I want your MG smack up on the wire, but preset placement so you can move back. We're putting the cooks on the line, but don't have enough cooks. Jabs decided to go around us to hit the airfield. We're too spread out, same as Puller in the 7th and Sector 3. Well, same old story for the 1st Marines. Two hour watches tonight all along the line. What you got smoking? Raleigh's? Only the officers get the lucky strikes. Well, I can't have my platoon suffering. Eyes open. Ears up. All right, sir. That was a gesture of a gentleman. We must really be fucked. <laughs> Oh. Here, Sergeant Watts, go dry. Crackers and jam. Yum. It's Briggs at the outpost. I got the whole fucking Jap army headed your way. Oh. Pull out and hook up with Able Company. First Battalion, hold your fire as long as possible. Say again, hold your fire. As long as possible. Jesus, those guys. Have enough men. For stealth. Oh. How are they gonna do this? How are they gonna pull this off? Coming right at us. Again at night. Is that a flare? Not a flare. Why would you think flare? <laughs> Oh. Like, no fear. They're just running in. God, you gotta be fast. Oh, they're getting so close. Get that reloaded. More of them coming. Oh, you can like hear everyone dying. Contact on the left. No shit. <laughs> this is our last box too, Sergeant. That's all they have left. An incredible filming with a light in the darkness. Damn it. The middle of the night also brings us like weird stillness. It's like so scary. They broke oh no. I guess your eyes adjust at nighttime in the dark if you don't have a lot of light. It's so such raw war. You're in the jungle. You're fighting for your life. It's pitch dark. How many go through? At least oh, you okay? Yeah, oh. There's so many of them. So many. Oh shit though. Oh. There's so many people had to die, and it's so sad. I need a hand in ammo, Cal. <sighs> JP, cover me. John, wait, what are you doing? I don't think they're going to trust anyone who's dying again. 
Did he see something? What did he what did he see? Whoa. What the hell was that? Now you got a clear field five. Oh. Cause they were all on top of each other. I'm gonna get more ammo. Hurry back. That guy was balls of steel, man. Get these men some goddamn ammo. Oh my god, I saved him. Oh no. You get hit or you just get knocked out. Oh my god. Oh, he's so tough. Can he hear now? Come on! It's so chaotic. Like how they really show the expressions of their faces after they've made it through, but also killed a bunch of people because it takes a toll on you. These guys have just seen heavy night after night after night. And just the massacre is just, it's so sad. They're not taking any more chances. Like collecting up all the barbed wire again, the layers of the bullet belt with him and then the jungle behind him. That was a crazy shot. Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. He's sleeping. Is anyone okay? Manny all right? <sighs> I haven't seen him. Saw him last night though. He was probably wondering about him. Sir, anybody bringing Sergeant Rodriguez last night? Manny Rodriguez? I wish I could keep track. Ooh. Nice work. I'm putting you in for a medal, John. We're gonna be moving west toward Lunga, up on the ridge. 164 is gonna take this position. Lowering the flag for everyone who died. <gasps> what? No, he saved him and then he died. No, I can't believe he died. <sighs> His best buddies. I swear this kid's gonna join. It's gone, isn't it? I'm enlisting tomorrow. He's going. The worst thing about treating those combat boys from the Great War wasn't that they had had their flesh torn. <laughs> it was that they had had their souls torn out. Yeah, it won't come back the same. In your eyes someday and see no spark, no love, no, no life. That would break my heart. He's got to do what he wants to do, though. It's his life. Give me some time to break the news to your mother. Oh, God. His dad has said his piece. He's warned him. Thank you, Father. How could you leave the dog behind? Oh, he's such an angel. You did the best you could, Dad. So they called him a professor, so... Is he a professor? He's very poetic. Not a letter. A poem. Celebration of our glorious victory at Guadalcanal. We're finally leaving this shit home. They going home now. They're probably going to another island. It's just a split second. Man, he steps to the left instead of his right. He was where he was, and you know, did what he did. Trying to reconcile with yourself. If it happens, it happens. How else do you make peace with where you are and what you're doing? I wonder if I'd make you skeptical or believe more in God or believe less in God. Oh, they're boarding. Hopefully they can get some good food. No chow till 1400, I'm sorry. Oh, God. We're like, we're used to not eating, so. Shit, I can get you guys some coffee. <sighs> God, that got me. 
it's such a simple thing as coffee. That's probably what they missed so much. Gratitude. Whew. So how bad was it? They don't want to talk about it. That's how bad it was. <laughs> you don't need to say anything, guys. I mean, before you got here, had you ever even heard of this place? Everybody's heard of Guadalcanal and the 1st Marine Division. You guys are on the front page of every newspaper in America. Heroes? Ooh. Your heroes back home. They had no idea. <laughs> God, they've been to hell. He's gonna go marry Vera, isn't he? <sighs> oh my gosh, Manny. I didn't really see quite what happened. Maybe we weren't supposed to see what happened, but it looks like he saved his buddy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break and we'll get into episode three.